Um, we have a pretty robust bereavement program for moms and their partners that have lost a baby. Um, we involve our chaplain and um, any other um, religious entities that they might want to bring in. Um, our nurses are specialty trained. Um, we go to a um, all-day bereavement seminar when they're coming in um, in orientation and then it's also available to them ongoing throughout um, their stay here at Riverside. Um, we do pictures, we collect mementos, um, do plaster casts of hands and feet. Um, if there's the ability to get hair, we'll make hair lockets. Um, we usually give them some sort of um, memento to take home, whether it be a shell or something that's a blessed, that might be a blessed item that they've requested. Um, just a lot of different things. We try to individualize it to each person's needs. Um, our staff, especially at, in a beginning diagnosis of a couple that have come in and not expecting it and uh, find out that they have a stillborn, um, it's, it's traumatic for everybody involved in the room. Um, we also do grief counseling for our staff as well. We talk about it. Um, we support each other. So if I'm the nurse caring for that couple, um, I'm all, the other nurses on the unit are making sure to take care of that nurse as well and help take care of the patient as well. Okay. Yeah, after a couple leaves the hospital, they're given um, lots of um, literature and brochures, but they also get follow-up phone calls from our staff and from our chaplain's office. We also do a yearly memorial garden um, where we invite all of the people that have had um, lost a baby um, in that past year to come, plus along we have people that have come from years past. Um, and then the, in the memorial garden we celebrate their babies.